The company Square Enix evokes a lot of different emotions from different people. For some, it means great games with engaging storylines, while for others, it can be synonymous with delays. Now, people have a lot of vocal opinions about Square, but it's hard to deny the way they manage to generate hype when it comes to their classic series. For example, Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts sells. It always sells. It sells a lot. The name recognition alone in these two series brings in tons of revenue for the company. I can't really see them deciding to end either series anytime soon, if ever. Kafi here, and today I'm wondering, which of the major three Square Enix titles will be released first? The ones that were anxiously anticipating. Will it be Kingdom Hearts 4, Final Fantasy 16, or FF7 Remake Part 2? Now, Square always keeps their cards pretty close to their chest, particularly so when it comes to release dates. They are eager to avoid something happening again, like the Final Fantasy vs. 13 situation, or even the long development time for Kingdom Hearts 3. But even so, I feel that there are plenty of clues that can help us figure out the order of release dates for these three titles. By looking at past history, Square's current release schedule, and games expected development cycles, we should be able to piece together a clearer picture of Square's future plans. Now let's start with the most obvious choice. There exists a strong possibility that Final Fantasy 16 will be the first of the big three to be released. And I don't really think anyone would be surprised by this. 16 has been in development for well over four years now, and it looks like it's really close to being finished. In fact, the game's producer, Naoki Yoshida, stated a while back that Final Fantasy 16 was in its final stages, alluding to the fact that the game was nearly complete. And this was before the newly revealed Dominus trailer that was just shown off at the end of Sony's recent state of play, which specified a launch window in summer of 2023. Now, I know summer 2023 seems a long ways away, over a year from now, so there is a possibility we get another major title beforehand, like, say, in March of 2023. But if I had to hazard a guess, I would still say that 16 will be the first to be released. After all, we know the most about this game, we already have a launch window, we know it's been in development for quite some time. So I think people would be surprised if one of Kingdom Hearts 4 or Remake Part 2 managed to release before Final Fantasy 16. Now when it comes to which of the big three will be released second, I feel that Kingdom Hearts 4 is a strong possibility. And we the fanbase need Kingdom Hearts 4 something fierce. After all, we're still in the middle of the 20th anniversary of this beloved series, and we have yet to have a game released for it yet. I mean, sure the Dark Road finale comes out in August, and Missing Link sometime after that, but we don't really have a console game coming out this year, unless Square does something crazy like release Kingdom Hearts 4 during the holiday season. But with Forspoken coming out around mid-October, I can't really see that happening. It would make far more sense to release the fourth entry around March of next year, actually, just before the 20th anniversary comes to a conclusion. And that way they could squeeze it in before an FF16 release later in the summer. But even that prediction seems a tad optimistic. So the safest bet is still probably FF16 releasing first, but if any game has a chance to usurp it beforehand, it would be Kingdom Hearts. Either way, here's hoping we get that next Kingdom Hearts entry soon. Now for the third title. When FF7 Remake first released, it proved to be pretty divisive amongst the fanbase. Some people didn't like the new direction the game went in, what with the apparent time travel and the inclusion of the whispers. But even if the game wasn't quite what some expected beforehand, it's certainly better than the alternative, 
the remake series not existing at all. And to be honest, I enjoyed the game. It was a unique way to introduce a new generation to the world of FF7, while being different enough that it wasn't just a carbon copy of the original. And Square Enix was certainly successful. Successful enough that it's only a matter of time until a sequel comes out. A part two in what is likely to be a new trilogy based in the world of FF7. But the only thing stopping the release of a remake part two happening anytime soon is the existence of Square's other major franchises, which seem to have gone much longer without a new title released. Like, we already have a release window for FF16, and Kingdom Hearts received its trailer already. So it seems much more feasible that we will see one of those two games released first. Although, with the newly revealed FF7 25th anniversary stream on its way next week, perhaps we get that release date much sooner than what we first thought. But I want to know what you guys think. Which of Square Enix's big three upcoming releases will be the first to drop? Will it be Final Fantasy 16, like most expect, Kingdom Hearts 4, or FF7 Remake Part 2? Just let me know your predictions and the order you think these games will release in, in the comments section below. While you're at it, feel free to hit like or subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any of my other videos. My name is Kefi, and I am wishing you a fantastic day. May your heart be your guiding key, my friends. And happy gaming.